Hello everyone, this is a pretty back with another deck review. This is the Mondrian deck. In the front of the top case, you see this Mondrian style artwork, which is an artist known as Pieter Mondrian, I believe it is. Down here, you see Mondrian. It's in a silver spot ink, it's slight embossing, very slight. It's, the artwork continues onto the sides and the top. The bottom says one of 5,000, produced and distributed by Got Magic. With their logo. It says designed by Nicholas Earl and Tumas Pinston and there's trademark stuff. Got magicsop.com. You can get it there and other magic shops and card shops. And the back you see more of the artwork and onto the flap as well. No seal. Uh, Nicholas Earl designed one deck that was on Kickstarter. did not successfully find but it was a pretty nice deck. I saw it yesterday. I was Came across it and recognized the name. Uh, but I don't remember the name of the deck now off the top of my head. But it's a pretty nice deck. It was earlier this year, I believe, or late last year. And Tumas Pinchton has done a few decks, including... Um, uh, well, he did the... the Gemini Casino-style decks. And there was... One more recently, the Big Boy decks he did. And he's had a couple others in the past as well that may or may not have been produced. The inside of Tuckus is in like a silver foil. Pretty cool. You get a blank card. Here's your back design, mirror image. Not set too well on these cards. I don't know, I guess it's USB-C produces these separately from the rest of the deck and cuts them separately and they don't do a very good job. You get a double backer as well. I like the style. I like the colors. The Jokers got a retro style chick on there with multicolored outfits in the same style. Joker in the corner. The other one's the same but it's colorless. Just a little color in some of the spots. The grayest color. And then the Ace of Spades. Very nice. The same pattern and color scheme and it's just Mondrian and that is that the court cards are standard they are really big borders and they're recolored to match the colors of the deck to some extent that's basically a standard color I guess more than anything but it does match the colors and number cards are also standard these I believe are in a crust B stock it's very nice I've been getting good reviews as far as Handling is concerned. And by the way, they are centered decently on the rest of the cards. It's just these two cards are not great. The handle, as you can see, pretty good. Handling, you know, the deck is fine. What I have to question or wonder is why they needed two artists for this. I mean, this pattern, this mat design, is essentially just modified it from uh, Mr. Mondrian's art. You can Google it, you'll find it. You'll see this exact type style. Actually, I've seen a deck on Amazon as well that is not related to this. It's the same style. Obviously, it's not the same pattern. I think it might be a one-way. But it's the same colors and everything. So as far as artistic concerns, uh, it's... Well, I mean, I like the style. I like the colors. But two artists... To do this, what, one designed the Jokers, the other designed the Ace? And they, I'm, I am just confused as to why they needed two artists for this deck. Uh, befuddled, really. Uh, or whatever you want to say. Uh, anyways, but it handles great. It looks pretty cool. It's definitely, obviously, usable for anything because it's standard artwork. So overall, I'd probably say... Eight, eight and a half out of ten. I just, I'm confused as to why two people worked on designing this because I don't know what they actually designed. <laughs> but that is that. You can get this at your favorite card magic stops. Not yet a collectible playing cards as of the production of this video, but maybe they're in the future. Look at that. Handles very nice, very smooth. Um, but that is that. Check out collectiblepointcards.com, of course. Use the code VJOSA32. Save 10% on your comment. Wait, subscribe. Thumbs up, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time with more.